and welcome to another not another MAT video. You know when you're doing rational function question, which is basically one polynomial divided by another polynomial. I've done a few rational functions questions so far, and we need to work out limits for limits for rational functions. There's a really simple way to work out the limit at infinity. Most students just plug in infinity and just do all the strange cancellations and stuff. But unfortunately, there's a very simple trick to help you out. Suppose your rational function is ax to the power of m plus blah blah blah, blah over bx n plus another strange polynomial up here. So if m less than n, the limit is zero. So even if b, even this b here is one over one million, you can guarantee that it is not going to tend to a finite limit in this case it will only tend to zero how about when m equals to n it will tend to a over b because when you think about it if ax n over bx n basically all the other terms will dwarf that term and you can cancel out the infinity and it will look like a over b how about m greater than n it will tend to infinity. So basically, if a is even like something like a million, it will look like infinity. So the limit will tend to infinity. So now let's try a few functions. So what is the limit? Well, we can tell you that this is 2, this is 3, so 0. The limit is 0. We can tell you that. Now how about... the limit since it's 2 to the power over 2 which is 1. How about this? x Obviously I provided a really silly example because we can see that this power is therefore greater than this power so it will tend to oops it ran out of ink at the very last minute Identify the limit of any rational function anywhere you like, anywhere you want it, and find the limit towards infinity. Goodbye.